Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and as promised this will be a comparison between the Toys Era Homelander figure on the left and the Soso -So Toys figure on the right. All throughout this video the Toys Era figure will always be on the left and the Soso -So Toys will always be on the right just to make that clear so you never get confused. Drop a like on this video for me folks. I hope you find it informative and entertaining. Alright, let's get started. Both figures come with very different bases. The Toys Era stand does not have the Homelander nameplate on there. I had to get that separately. And this is where I got the nameplate on eBay. Marvel underscore makers. Really nice to deal with. The so So Toys base is very eye-catching and vibrant. And a big shout out to Justin from Justin's Collection for telling me how to install one of the Sideshow Collectibles groin grabber stands into this base. Because I didn't like the bendy pole. I don't usually like using those. So now he's just going to be good and stable. But both bases are nice. Uh, I guess I prefer the So So Toys, but once I got the nameplate on the Toys Era, that really does look cool. With the, the eagle emblem on the surface that he's standing on. But that's up to you, really. They're both pretty decent bases. Boots do look nicer on the So So Toys figure on the right. There's just more vibrancy there, and the sculpt is sharper when it comes to the wrinkle work around the boots. And there's some weathering on the front as well. But the gold of the eagle is different from the gold that kind of goes at the top there. So it's a nice difference. And the Toys era, a bit more dirty looking. A little bit more muted, just in general really. Just not as vibrant. And we do have a split cut at the ankle to allow for some good posability, especially for hovering flying poses. You can point the feet down. It really works wonders with hovering poses, flying stuff. You can't do that with the Soso -So Toys version because they're just solid one sculpt. Doesn't bother me too much, but it would have been nice to have some articulation there because I think it's quite subtle looking on the toys area you can't really you can see where the joint is but it's not an eyesore and it is nice to be able to move those feet around especially for a flying character but definitely more vibrant and slightly more HD on the so-so toys tread underneath the boots is completely different on both figures I don't know what the underneath of his boots look like so I couldn't tell you which one's more accurate but I think the one on the right, the Soso -so Toys, looks better. A bit more realistic. You've got more grip on there, that's for sure. Height-wise, the Soso -so Toys on the right seems to be taller, although, yeah, it's... Yeah, I guess it is. It's just the angle I'm looking at. I'm just trying to figure out whether the shoulders are at the same level. But the head seems to be up higher on the Soso -so Toys. So does the waist, the groin area. The hands, the elbows, uh, the knees, and yet the shoulders are appearing to be in line with each other. And I guess, yeah. I just find the proportions on the Toy Zero on the left a little bit weird. I just, uh, yeah, the legs there, the thighs, they really start to bump out there very suddenly. And a little bit unrealistic. I know that Anthony Starr wears a kind of muscle suit. Because he's a very slim dude in reality. And I think the So So Toys might be a bit overdone with the bulk. But it seems a bit more pleasing to the eye in general than the proportions on the Toy Zero. I do slightly prefer the colour of the Toy Zero suit. Even though neither one of them are actually accurate. The So So Toys on the right is much darker. Here's a picture of Anthony Starr in the suit. I do see a lot of people mentioning how the armor on his shoulders is too big on the figures. And it's actually a more accurate size on these busts. And some folks are removing those and putting them on the figure instead of the ones that he comes with. I don't think I'm going to be messing around with that. Not when it comes to magnets and trying to get that to work again once I remove the old ones. I don't know. Seems like a lot of work. This size of the armor on the shoulders doesn't bother me. Um, it looks like the So So Toys armor on the shoulders is slightly bigger than the Toys Era ones on the left. And if you haven't seen my previous videos, I have dry brushed the hair on all the head sculpts that came with both figures to make the hair more blonde. 
the collar of his outfit that was one of the later things that I noticed I'd already purchased the Toy Zero figure and I noticed how much extra material there was it's just too much of it, it's not the right shape for the collar the So So Toys is a lot more accurate and it kind of comes away from the neck and has a bit of breathing room there as it should do so this one's just too tight and the shape of the design is just too much of it it's too it's too much at the front now even though the so-so toys figure on the right is a bigger figure he seems to have smaller hands than the toy zero on the left it's one of the first things i noticed and now with the gauntlets as well neither one of them are that great because the so-so toys is a bit hit and miss with the application on the gold sections on the gauntlets there some of the bits aren't really painted that well and on the Toy Zero it's a bit too heavy handed there's a bit too much thick sort of gold there so you can see the difference I mean the one on the right is a bit hit and miss a bit inconsistent and the one on the left a bit too much gold so yeah I'm not too sure which one of them I prefer there's definitely things about both gauntlets that you know bug me and the waistline on the so so toys looking here i mean he's just a bit too thick in general like the chest the shoulders the arms they all look great but then as it comes down to the waist i think it should slim in a bit like it does here but yeah but then you get to those thighs and it just looks kind of ridiculous I prefer the cape on the So-So Toys figure here, but I wish the blue section at the top, the stars, was the same type of blue that it is on the Toys era. That tone of blue for the top section seems more accurate to me, but the material on this one is a bit more shiny looking, and when you feel it, I wouldn't be surprised if over the years this starts to get a bit manky looking. I don't know, just discoloring maybe over time, it just feels a bit like that's where it will head. Whereas this one, a little bit better feeling in hand. And I guess the width of the stripes. Yeah, the width of the stripes on the flag look better to me. So definitely prefer the cape on the So-So Toys figure. And it's just a damn shame this figure with the repainted hair to look more blonde. Doesn't look as good from the front as it does right now from the back because that looks like him. It's just a, you know, we'll get to the likeness issues in a minute. I do have a head sculpt coming that I found on eBay that looks much more like Anthony Starr. And I'm going to be 
getting that soon. I really look forward to bringing you that video. Hopefully, with that new head sculpt that's coming, it will finally give me the ultimate Homelander figure. Yeah, this is the head sculpt I've got coming. And I uh, probably need to blonde the hair up again, like I have done with all the others. But I think the likeness is a very good one on this. It's very dark, for some reason, the camera's not really showing it very well here. But I will be doing a video on it once it arrives. But they're readily available on eBay. I got this for uh, some other pictures. Very reasonable price, like £20 each. And I would sort of be very hesitant and not trust that, because I think, why would it be so cheap? And... You know, I'd be very wary, but I did have the exact same situation with the Asmus Toys Evil Dead 2 Ash figure because uh, I like the look of the Sideshow Collectibles Ash head sculpt, uh, but that figure was very expensive, so I found this uh, sort of just a copy of the Sideshow head, and it was about £20 on eBay, just like the Homelander one, and it turned out to look fantastic, and that was about £20. So that makes me feel a bit more secure with my little purchase on the Homelander head sculpt. And yeah, when you spread out the cape on the toys here, it's, it's too much. There's too much width. Uh, at no point in the show, I've finished season two now, so I'm about to start season three. And at no point have I ever seen the cape kind of spreading out that much. This seems much more appropriate visually. So I've definitely given that one to the Soso Toys cape just looks a lot better. As far as where the cape meets the tip of his boots, in the show it seems to be, yeah, right about here. Right where the gold line on his boots. And you kind of, that's where it meets the cape. I like the detail on the back of the heels as well. There's some really good detail on these and the weathering. Yeah, a bit different there. You've got a little bit more texture on these so-so toys. I really like the texture on them. And over here, just not so much with the detail. Now, honestly, even though the Toy Zero on the left has double bent elbows, which is technically more articulation, it's a nightmare to work with. I do not like posing this figure, even doing something as simple as getting him to do this. Just putting his damn hands on his hips and standing there looking heroic, like the so-so toys figure can do very easily this just it's not pleasant to work with I don't like the articulation I don't like the body I guess is what it is with the toy zero just not in love with this body I've never really had much joy posing him you know this one even though it doesn't have double bend elbows is a lot easier to work with I can put the you know the hands behind the back hands on the hips have him waving really convincingly flying whatever I want to do it's a much better body to work with than the Toy Zero version, which if you do end up with both of them, you'll see what I mean. The difference between them, handling them wise and enjoyment from putting them in a pose. It's just, this has been a very pleasant experience posing this one. And this is never a pleasant experience trying to put this in a pose. It's always fighting against you, balance wise as well. Fresh out of the box, he stood perfectly. As soon as I tried moving his legs around and getting him to look a bit more like he was moving around, when I tried to get him back to normal again, he just never feels like he's fully standing up straight or feet are both level on the ground. It's, it's a weird body. So definitely prefer the body, even though it's a bit too bulky on the right here with the so-so toys. But I do prefer everything about the body and the movement on that one. Right, so that's what Homelander looks like in the show, like chest and stomach wise. And then... Yeah, it seems to me that the so, so Toys is more accurate, even though the scale, you know, the proportions of the body are a bit too much on this. The actual shape of the muscles looks more correct to me. It was a nice effect here with the, I don't know, I guess they maybe dry, uh, not dry brushed it, uh, airbrushed it, that's what I'm thinking. Possibly to kind of really get the shadows in the muscles to make them stand out more. But proportions are just all over the place here. The main area of concern, I think, starts at the shoulders. That's probably what's making my arm movement so frustrating. He's just not got much going on between the neck and the chest. That's definitely better on this one. 
But yeah, as far as accuracy to the the chest and the stomach area, I'd give it to So So Toys. Also in the show, when he's facing front, you can barely tell. Obviously, you can see it hanging behind him, but at least on the shoulders, you can barely see any cape at all. And I think they did a better job, again, on So So Toys, keeping that a bit more flush. Over here, you can definitely tell there's a bit of bunching going on there with the material. It's a bit more subtle and accurate looking on the right. Now on the front of the outfit you have that flap surrounded by the kind of red outline. Notice around the collar area the red line literally seems to be touching up against the collar. And that is how it is here on the Soso -So Toys version. And there's a gap on the Toys era. I mean that's just a mess as far as how everything's laid out. See those gauntlets as well. Okay, so that's how they look on the show. They probably change from time to time. Um, yeah, somewhere between the two, really. I think the So So Toys on the right gauntlets are a bit lacking in the gold department, and there's a bit too much on the Toy Zero. But I guess from what I've seen in the pictures, if I had to say which one looked more accurate, I think I'd give it to the one on the left, the Toy Zero. And that belt of his uh, it seems to be the same tone, maybe a little bit different from the shoulder armor. And So So Toys did make a bit of a difference there. The shoulder armor does seem to be a little bit more light in tone than the belt. And it seems to be exactly the same on the Toys era, the shoulders and the belt seem to be the same tone. Some nice weathering on the shoulder armor on the Toys era. But again, everything's just a little bit sharper on the So So Toys. Now, after owning these two for a good few days now, I guess it's been almost a yeah, it has been a week, I think, yeah, since I got the Toys era. And then So So Toys turned up a couple of days later. I've had enough time for the dust to settle. And I can safely say that none of the head sculpts with the So So Toys really look like Anthony Starr. And some of the head sculpts, five of them that you get with the Toys era on the left, two or three of them do have a pretty strong resemblance. It might just be the paint app that didn't quite hit it out of the park with the one on the left. But the one on the right the So So Toys, the likeness is definitely a miss, but there's just a much more higher end, Hot Toys almost level sculpt and paint app on it. Even though the likeness is very weak, and I, you know, I've gone in and repainted the hair to make it more blonde because it was too dark. His hair is really blonde on the top in the show. So without that, you're just not going to even begin to see him. But it didn't help an awful lot with these head sculpts. But there is something definitely sharper and more high-end looking about the one on the right. Five o'clock shadow is there. All those little wrinkles and creases in the corner of the eye. Very, very good sculpt and paint. And it's just softer. Everything's just softer on the Toys era. So you might want to wait for my video on this, but once that head sculpt arrives, I'm going to repaint the hair and put it on this So So Toys setup. And hopefully that will, you know, even though the suit's never going to be the right tone of blue, I could try and repaint it, but I don't think I'm going to mess with it. I'll just have to live with the fact that for now his suit's not quite an accurate color. But I will let you know if basically what you need to do to achieve a really good Homelander is 
you can get this guy here for a really reasonable price. I got him for 160, you know, and for a 1-6 scale figure, even though the likeness is all over the place, but that looks as good as this and feels as good quality as this, that's an amazing price. So I'd snap him up sooner rather than later because, and then basically just spend another 20. So you're spending, what, 180? Get this head sculpt quick as possible and chuck that on here for the ultimate homelander that's the plan anyway but just in case the head sculpt doesn't work on here you might want to wait until i review it in a few days i bought that head sculpt about two days ago so hopefully it'll be here in about five days something like that and i'll let you know how it looks and whether the head sculpt fits on this body nice and easy because that could be the way to go to get to the ultimate homelander for now Check out the video, if you haven't seen it yet, where I drilled holes into one of the spare heads that came with the Toys Era figure and installed some Darth Maul lightsaber blades to make it look like he was shooting lasers out of his head. It's a very, very cool effect. Check it out if you haven't seen it. There's definitely some reasons to get the Toys Era version, though it does come with five heads, and one of them is this one that I've got on the So So Toys body now. And it's just a lot of fun to pose him with this head. I think they really did capture that psychotic, narcissistic, <laughs> fake laugh. You know, it's uh, a lot of fun to pose. He, can't, he reminds me of Patrick Bateman a lot. Uh, certain aspects of his character. It's kind of like what would Patrick Bateman be like if he was a superhero. So I'm enjoying it. But that looks fantastic. When the custom head turns up, I'll be using that as my kind of serious looking... Homelander and then I would love to have the second one set up like this But I don't know what I'm gonna do because I'm not too happy with that Body so I don't know I'll figure it out Okay, so I'm using the busts that come with the so so toys version the one on the right is the more serious Head sculpt that you get with the so so toys figure again. I did repaint the hair and on the left is one of the Toys Era head sculpts, the closest one to this one with a serious expression. It does actually clip onto the neck there. And it seems to be sitting a bit higher though than the one on the right. But I really don't like the front on view with this head sculpt. I just don't see Anthony Starr at all. And over here, it's a bit closer, but I don't know. I think it's also not quite right. The shape of the head. It seems a bit too wide or something. So I really am curious to see what this custom head's going to look like. I hope it's good. I hope it works out because that will solve the problem. And it won't cost you too much to do it. Just give you a look from the side profiles. Toy Zero on the left. So some toys on the right. Again, you can see what I mean about the level of detail. On the right, it's just much higher quality. Over here, it kind of almost feels a bit like Action Man, you know? Just cheaper. Not quite that bad, but compared to this level of detail, sculpt and paintwork, it's just a different world almost. That is the smiling head sculpt for the So-So Toys figure on the Toys Era body. Just in case you want to see what that looks like. Doesn't look too bad. And I'm just trying on his arm here. I've tried the Toys Era gauntlet. I've still got the So-So Toys gauntlet on this side. Because I like the slightly more prominent gold. But then again, I prefer the gold circles to kind of go around the top there. They look way more convincing. Just wish the gold was a little bit more standout-ish as it is on the toys area here. So I don't know. I'll experiment and see which one I think looks better. Just all about getting that custom head sculpt at the moment. That is going to be key to getting this right. But at least you can swap the gauntlets over if you want to. Even though I prefer this suit, even though it's darker than it should be, 
I just love that collar because it's more accurate. But I prefer the tone of blue on this one. But there's no way I'm, I'd be able to... Yeah, there's too much going on here. I couldn't separate that collar, unstitch it from the rest of the suit and then swap them around. It just wouldn't work. Uh, yeah, there's definitely something weird going on with those shoulders. Just... That's the main area of concern here is the damn shoulders. But you can remove the suit pretty easily on the So So Toys because there's a zip at the back. It's all just stitched together on this one, so it's not going to be easy taking this suit off the body. I doubt I'd ever do it, but if I could swap the body to something with the proportions that I think it needs, it would help a lot. But you'd still have a dodgy looking collar. There's just too much of it going on. Way too much thickness of the collar at the front compared to how it should be here. Just get a look at the shoulder armor here side by side. On the Toy Zero figure here, they are attached to the suit. On the So So Toys, it's held on with a magnet, which is actually quite good. You can just take them off and then put them back on when you finish posing. But there's a bit more weathering on the Toy Zero version. And um, I'd say possibly the So So Toys shoulder armor a little bit bigger. Definitely prefer the way the cape attaches on this one though. It's nice and subtle. Looks good. Over here it's a bit more bulky. But looking at the side proportions here as well. It's really just the shoulders and the thighs on this one. I do like the proportions from the side view. It looks quite accurate to Anthony Starr. Over here it's definitely quite thick in the waist area. So wrapping it up for you folks, I mean I wouldn't be without this version, the Toy Zero, because I love that head sculpt there. I need that, but it's a fine looking piece. Just a bit weird proportions, shoulders, thighs, everything else is okay. Comes with some really decent looking head sculpts. Just need to blonde up the hair a bit. And that as a Homelander in your collection will do just fine. Seriously, I don't see anyone coming into your collection saying, hey, what's wrong with your Homelander? Why does he, you know, why does he look weird? He's, they're not gonna say that. It, this looks fantastic. Definitely prefer the tone of blue. It's closer to how it is in the show. It's not right, but it's closer than this. This is too dark. And he's a bit too thick at the, the hips here, the whole hip area and the butt, which we won't bother looking at now, but it's all just a bit too thick there. But chest, shoulders, arms, neck, all very good with the so-so toys. And I prefer the cape on this one. But you can go back and forth all day. There's just, you know, it's like a ping pong ball between them. Ping pong ball, just different things that I like about each one. So I'm going to get that custom head and I'll let you know how that works out. Overall, everything's just a bit more HD with the figure on the right by So So Toys. It's just, you know, from the head sculpt to the outfit to every little detail, it's just a little bit sharper. You feel like you've got a bit more of a high-end figure with this one. That still looks great. Okay everyone, thank you for watching. I will keep you updated on the custom head sculpt situation. I'll let you know how that all works out. I'll bring you a video as soon as it gets here. And I hope you've enjoyed these Homelander videos. You never know, I may end up doing the bloody version at some point soon and bring you a video on that. Still thinking about that one. I'm going to wait and see how this custom head works out first. Once that arrives and I know how it looks on either one of these. Hopefully this one. That's where I intend it to go. Hopefully it all works out and then I can decide, finally, am I going to turn this one into a really gnarly, blood-soaked Homelander, like at the end of Season 2. We'll see. So drop a like on it for me, folks. Let me know what you think in the comments. Always good to hear from you. Thank you for all your support on the channel. I'll see you soon. Take it easy. Bye-bye.